Hello, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. All right, everybody. Welcome to this next video here in week four of this Madden 20 featuring Tyson Simmons career mode. This week we are now taking on the Chargers from what, what state are they in? They keep moving every dog five years or so. I don't know where they are now located. That's right. Hi, everybody. Brandon Gordon. So the football will be at the 25 yard line as this offense gets set to take over. On play action, they'll throw. Oh, wow. Oh, they owe me today. <laughs> no, they owe me today. <laughs> okay. It certainly is, and it lets you know just how important communication is amongst the offensive line. They talk about it all the time, knowing each other's moves. You've got to be coordinated. We got to watch out for them deep routes. Otherwise, your quarterback gets hit. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. They'll look to throw. Got an open man. It's Fumagalli. The reception uh -huh. good for seven. It's third down. Defensively, yeah, we got a lot to make up. I don't know if we can do it, though. In the NFL, so when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points score gives yourself your best, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around okay, so I'm looking for you. Look for Sutton across the middle. Give me time. <laughs> I don't have the town. Bosa's on my butt. Bosa is on my butt. We got to get rid of this ball. Oh shoot. They'll call that a punt of 59 yards. Tough to do better than that. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Okay, still in the first quarter. They haven't done anything yet. Oh boy. Watch the wiggles. Now the first carry here for Philip Lindsay. Ain't no wiggles here. A little room, but not much. A gain of two to the five. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room if you have to run the punter out there. Yeah, we gotta get away from the boys. Yeah, didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. Have a first Watch the wiggles. Watch the wiggles. He ain't gonna catch me. He ain't gonna catch me. He caught me. in the game today a guy who keeps defensive coordinators up at night no doubt remember when we were meeting with the d coordinator before the game and all he talked about was run fits making sure our guys were in the right place so there were no creases they missed their fits didn't they yeah there was no fit there the only fit was at the end when he threw his headset down after that big run they'll set up a throw <sighs> and that'll be knocked away it's incomplete that linebacker held his own. He held it. Give him credit. Give him credit. Second and ten. That is caught. The 
the seven yard line. Coming into the week, he's the NFL's leader in receiving yards. There's his first catch, and it's good for a first down. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker. And you've got to deliver. And he will take it That's in right. Well, I'll touchdown. bring you, boy. Royce Freeman, his second touchdown on the season. That's right. These guys are able to strike first here in this You thought you had me. This crew, they were on a roll going into the bye week that they just had, Charles. So sort of picking up where they left off. And you and I both know that when you come back off of an open week and you've been winning games. That was a race of who's going to get, who's going to be the first to that quarter. The offense set to take the field here as they have the football in the final minute of this first You're pressing. You're pressing. They go play action here on first down. I almost pushed this button through the controller. Thirty-three yards that time. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game, and this will probably be the last play of the quarter. the play fake he'll look to throw and that is caught on the right sideline but out of bounds says the ah, shoot the throw took him a little too far at second down after one seven nothing on EA Sports this thing is going crazy So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. This quick pass uh, complete to Sutton. He didn't and bite not one bit. Here, back at the 41. Not one bit. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. But that was well defended. And as a cornerback, what you're taught when you see a wide receiver screen, either you get underneath the play before the blocking forms, or you're going to have to fight your way through it by getting through some blocking. That was a really nice play there. And I should have threw it earlier so he could keep going on that streak. But he's going to keep burning that, that guy right there. That poor guy. I feel sorry for him. Because you think it's a go route. And then he breaks it back on the comeback. There's one other thing you need. It should have been a go route. Exactly right. You have a guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. He'll look to throw. And this is caught for a Bronco touchdown. Kendrick Bourne. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Broncos push further out in front. That score was not a game clincher by any stretch of the imagination. But the other team now. He has was to be wide open. He had him burnt straight off the line. So now this offense will take over and they will have the football Ooh. at their own 20 yard line. Got him. And he's gonna get this one across an aggressive the defense. That one good for a thousand yards straight off the pot. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right My there. God. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. So they'll come up first in ten now from the thirty-three. They'll run on first down. It's Lindsay. Uh, he couldn't wiggle enough. The 45 at the 44. That one going for a gain of 11 and a Bronco first down. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. 
Had a little bit of stone it there. Incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind ah, of come on. Nowhere to escape and he goes down. Gotta call a time out there. Just timeouts. stupid of me. He'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. An extra defensive back on the field for the Chargers now on third down. Back to throw. And that'll what was that? incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. Had to pass there, third and long on your own side of the field. Just couldn't come up with anything. That's why teams always talk about having to win the early downs, meaning you've got to gain yardage and set yourself up for third and short because when it's third and long, the odds go down significantly trying to pick up the first down, even throwing the football. And a nice special team yes. job here. This is going to be down inside the 10 at the 7 yard Good point. Line. So they'll play the field position. That was a great putt right there. Nice punt is going to pin him back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis. Or... Now following the interception, this offense will get another shot at it. As they'll quickly head back onto the field. They'll come out throwing here on first down. He's got Jake Butt as tight end. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second and three. And he's going to have the hook up to Sutton. And he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He's got his target. That's Zach Pascal. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So on now is Brandon McManus. He has hit from as far away as 57, but that was in Denver. This will be from 56 yards out. <sighs> we missed it, so what? This offense will head back out there. They're in excellent field position after the fumble recovery. They'll try and run for it on first. Oh, what, the, what is that line man doing? 65, what are you doing? That run didn't get very far, and I think when you're looking at his dimensions, he's a little bit on the smaller side. He's counting on the big guys up front to escort him in, and they couldn't create any kind of space for him, could they? Yeah, didn't get the push they needed. Fine time to his left. And he'll be brought down here and I'm at the three-yard line. I'm it looks like we've got a Bronco that's banged up on the play. We'll step aside and come back to Carson after this. This Charger defense continuing to hold the line. And my man, now it's a injured. third and goal situation. They'll try and run for it with Lindsey. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. A loss of a yard and it brings up fourth. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time. Forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. And McManus able to put it through. Well, the lead will grow. It's now we got to check on Tyson and make sure that he's okay. So he missed that field goal earlier, but 
says not this time. Able to knock it through, give his guys three. Next man up until Tyson gets back. That's what it is. So now this offense will take over and they will have the football at their own 20 yard line. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Then we'll watch. They'll run with Freeman here to begin the drive. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid game. Ah, uh, Tyson, you're out. Often alters in normal spacing and run fits, and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. The line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. First throw now for the backup lock. He's going to fire one deep. Ah, he didn't hold on to it. going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. The positioning here is key. As a defensive get the back, first. you're taught 99% of the time make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. Oh, God damn it. third down throw incomplete as well. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against his own before the next okay, guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. And he gets this away. And look at this. This is a good one. Ah, uh, damn it. Too good. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchdown. All right. Put your fours up. Put your fours up. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Yeah, I don't trust this. They're coming. On first down, Lindsey. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. I think you'd have to say defensively, these guys are doing their job pretty well, right? Yeah, we talked about them holding them under 20 points, right, on defense. And they've done that. They've held them. The problem is their own offense hasn't answered their challenge. Uh-huh. Get that face mask, baby. Can't touch that face mask. Back up, bro. 15 yards. Thank you. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration, not a good play. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Another run by Lindsey. Wiggles. Wiggles. Got the first down and more inside the 40. And finally down at the 36-yard line. 17 yards for the Broncos there as they've got themselves a first We got the Wiggles. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll run on first down. It's Lindsay. Oh shit. And down we got some though. 32 yard line, four yards on the pick. We'll take it. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. You Definitely damn right. Things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Not put the ball in Lop's hands. Second down. It's Freeman. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A 10 yard pickup, and it's enough for a Broncos first down. Well, you know me, partner. I never tell them to back off of being aggressive, but sometimes you see the consequences when you're overly aggressive and you don't secure tackles. Guys break through. Trying to sell out to pry that football yeah. loose, and just as you said, cost some yardage. Yeah, hey, you gotta go get him. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. First down, Lindsay. He's got the first nope. down inside. Got you. And he is in Celebrate, the buddy. Denver touchdown. Yeah, Philip Lindsay. Touchdown. Celebrate, buddy. 
And the Broncos push further out in front. Well, partner, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game. Yeah, I don't want to throw the ball no more. I just want to run it. Just want to run the ball. Run this clock. This defense too aggressive. Too aggressive. I'm running away from Bosa. I'm running away from Bosa. Away from Bosa. This is Freeman on first and ten. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this oh, one's gonna be a face mask. Another face mask. Thank you, fellas. So that flag will cost him fifteen. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it that's gonna be fifteen yards. Late stages of the game here in the fourth quarter as this offense. Y'all coming from that side, huh? And okay. Now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Now a carry for Lindsay. That good for 19 and a first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? First seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Okay, I like that better. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll take it into the I like that better. Like that better. Philip Lindsay. I like that better. His second of the game. And the Broncos push further out in front. And for them, this train, it just keeps rolling, doesn't it? Well on their way to yet another victory. Yeah, it's almost a runaway, isn't it? And you just wonder how anyone can stop this. Got... Yeah, we double Bosa. That's what we did. Took the play, double Bosa. Well, their defense did the job. They got the turnover on downs. Now what can the offense do okay. as they take possession? You know they're going to back it up, so... Board, I'm looking for you underneath. We're going to take a dack it. Get uh, 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 press the button. Why did they get it off? See, that's what I don't want Lock to have the ball there. Why isn't the clock running? Yeah, it looked like something. Whatever. Oh, my fault. Bad stick. My fault. Run that clock, though. It's all right. Well, we got such a lead. We're not worried about it. We're going to run this clock. Not even coming out until the clock runs. Just want to run the clock. That's all. We're not expecting to get much. Not expecting to get much. Oh, almost, almost. This this defense right here played us the most. They they played us the best. I'm sorry, it's bro. Always partner, an extreme pleasure to share a booth with you. I, I, I have to say, I am impressed at your discipline because 
you came here and you said you were not going to eat any of the media buffet. <laughs> you made it to the end. You didn't consume a single calorie. I appreciate that. What you missed did a great job there. Yeah. The great job. Outside of your eyesight and getting it done that way. Look, I mean, they were serving the good stuff. All right, guys. Oh, we come to the end of this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you like these videos and you want to see more, subscribe. Until next time, take care of yourself and each other. Peace.